This is the secret of the Holy Grail. It is the sacred vessel of Our Lady, the Scarlet Woman, Babylon, the mother of abominations, the bride of chaos, that rideth upon our Lord the Beast. Thou shalt drain out thy blood, that is thy life, into the golden cup of her fornication. Thou shalt mingle thy life with the universal life. Thou shalt keep not back one drop. Then shall thy brain be dumb, and thy heart beat no more, and all thy life shall go from thee. And thou shalt be cast out upon the midden, and the birds of the air shall feast upon thy flesh, and thy bones shall whiten in the sun. Then shall the winds gather themselves together, and bear thee up, as it were, a little heap of dust in a sheep that hath four corners. And they shall give it unto the guardians of the abyss. And because there is no life therein, the guardians of the abyss shall bid the angels of the winds pass by. And the angels shall lay thy dust in the city of the pyramids, and the name thereof shall be no more. Now therefore, that thou mayest achieve this ritual of the Holy Grail, do thou divest thyself of all thy goods. Thou hast wealth, Give it unto them that have need thereof, yet no desire toward it. Thou hast help. Slay thyself in the fervor of thine abandonment unto our lady. Thy flesh hang loose upon thy bones. Thine eyes glare with thy quenchless lust unto the infinite, with thy passion for the unknown, for her that is beyond knowledge, the accursed one. Thou hast love. Tear thy mother from thine heart, and spit in the face of thy father. With thy foot trample the belly of thy wife, and let the babe at her breast be the prey of dogs and vultures. For if thou dost not this with thy will, then shall we do this despite thy will, so that thou attain unto the sacrament of the grail and the chapel of abominations. And behold, by stealth thou keep unto thyself one thought of thine, then shalt thou be cast out into the abyss forever, and thou shalt be the lonely one, the eater of dung, the afflicted in the day of thee with us. Yea, verily, this is the truth, this is the truth. This is the truth. Unto thee shall be granted joy and health and wealth and wisdom when thou art no longer thou. Then shall every gain be a new sacrament, and it shall not defile thee. Thou shalt revel with the wanton in the marketplace, and the virgins shall fling roses upon thee, and the merchants bend their knees and bring thee gold and spices. Also young boys shall pour wonderful wines for thee, and the singers and the dancers shall sing and dance for thee. Shalt thou not be there, for thou shalt be forgotten, dust, lost in dust. Nor shall the eon itself avail thee of this, for from the dust shall a white ash be prepared by Hermes the Invisible. And this is the wrath of God, that these things should be thus. And this is the grace of God, that these things should be thus. Wherefore I charge you, that ye come unto me in the beginning, for if you take but one step in this path, we must arrive inevitably at the end thereof. This path is beyond life and death. It is also beyond love, but that ye know not, for ye know not love. And the end thereof is not known, even unto our lady, or to the beast whereon she rideth, nor unto the virgin her daughter, nor unto chaos her lawful lord, but unto the crowned child is it known? It is not known, if it be known. Therefore, unto Hadit, and unto Nuit, be the glory, and the end, and the beginning, Yea, in the end and the beginning.